Good morning. I'm out doing a little scouting today. I took the day off from hunting and I really need to get, get some miles on here and really start looking for some ducks. We had a pretty decent push come in last week and you know I've been hunting doing all my all my stuff, you know. But it's been I had one good hunt on that cold front and the rest is just kind of been scratching them out. And it's time to really get the scout on. The birds are here. So now it's time to really kind of zone in, figure things out. So I'm at a new area. Uh, I've spent a little bit of time here. Haven't spent a whole heck of a lot. All the ice is off. We had a lot of icy conditions this past week, so that made things a little tough. But ice finally came off and we're looking pretty good right now. So I'm gonna be checking out this whole area and looking at all these little marsh pools and hopefully find some ducks. I heard some down here, so that's why I'm walking this way. But uh, it looks good. There's a lot of open water, a lot of marshy stuff. But sometimes the ducks want to be somewhere that doesn't look super great. So we'll be checking this out. I don't have my zoomy lens on right now, but there's three mallards up there flying around. So that's a good sign. Somebody's hunting way back yonder. See the mojo flickering. Looks pretty good. I'm just waiting to find that one spot where these ducks just come on out. That's what I'm looking for. So another tool that I've been using while scouting is actually on my phone. And it's an app called Base Map. And what I use it for primarily is finding out where the public land and private land boundaries are. And if I'm hunting private land, I use it to figure out who owns the property and how to get in contact with them. It's a very useful app. If you guys want to download it and try it out yourself, there's a link for it in the description. And if you want to sign up to be a member, you'll get all 50 states and you can use the coupon code Outdoor Limits and get 10% off. So other cool things that I like to do with it is like drop pins on different places that I see. I'm like, okay, this is a good potential or I saw 50 ducks here. I'm able to drop a pin down, write some notes on it saying, hey, here's kind of what it looked like. Here's how many ducks I saw. I saw 50 mallards and three pintails and six shovelers in there. Um, wind was coming out of the west. So I'm able to log those things and figure out, okay, here's when these ducks want to be here. Here's the weather conditions and here's what I saw. So I find that very useful. The journaling part of it is, uh, it's very beneficial to me because it kind of gives me a way to look back and be like, okay, why were these ducks here at the end of the day? I mean, I'm able to go back, look and say, okay, here's all the things I saw. Instead of trying to remember it, I'm able to just drop pins everywhere and say, okay, there were 60 ducks here. There was three ducks here. I'm able to figure that out. So um, I find that very useful. So go ahead and download it. It's free to download. Go ahead and give it a shot and try it out for yourself. There's a link in the description of this video. But that spot, it looked okay. I would like to be able to drop my kayak in on a spot. So that's not going to happen with this little pool up here. So we're going to head on down to the next one and see if there's a boat ramp and check things out. So this pool back behind me looks pretty decent. There's a lot of ducks flying around working it. And uh, pretty shallow water, but it looks pretty good. There's some other people hunting, seeing a few birds get shot. So that's always a good sign. This definitely looks better than the last spot for sure. Now, when I'm thinking about where I'm going to be hunting and where I'm going to set up, I need to figure out how I'm going to get the kayak in, where I'm going to paddle to, and just kind of plan everything beforehand while I'm out here and I can see and it's not nighttime because trying to navigate your way through a marsh in the dark can be pretty uh, pretty tough. You can get lost really easily. You might think you're going west, but you end up going south. So it's always good to kind of get a lay of the land, figure things out before you head out there because uh, then you spend less time trying to figure out where your spot was. But this, this looks pretty decent. Just trying to figure it out, you know. You can find your spot, but then you gotta really kind of hone in and be like, okay, you can find your pool, but then you got to really hone in and be like, okay, where am I going to set up? Where's the best place for cover? Where's the best place for the water, where the decoys will be, and where do the ducks want to be? So, I've seen a lot of ducks just kind of out flying around, kind of looking, but I think out here in the middle looks pretty good. There's been a lot of ducks just kind of all around the middle. 
you can tell these ducks have been shot at quite a bit. They're, they're kind of weary of these marshes. So you got to make sure you're all buttoned up and looking good and everything's right. And then you can probably make it happen. The hide is crucial. We'll keep on moving down the road, try and find out and see if there's some other places that look decent. But I think my money's going to be on this spot right here. It's, a, it's an area that I've hunted in the past, and I mean, maybe I, it's just because I'm comfortable with it, but there's also been a lot of ducks, so we'll keep looking. We'll keep at it here. Maybe we'll find something else, but that sure does look darn good. That doesn't look too promising. <laughs> I don't think there's any way I could possibly get a kayak in there unless I drag it. I'd have to drag it way across and maybe find some water over there. That'd be tough. I think this pool, I'd have to just walk in. There's no way. Unless I'm wanting to drag the duck discovery around. The, the top water, the 120, it, the quack yak, it would not be a fun experience taking that thing out. The duck discovery though, I might show us true colors if I take it out. It's really easy to drag, so I don't know. It's a good pool. The layout boat would make a really good hide. It's just a lot of work. I mean, it, it's almost easier to just walk in at that point, so I don't know. On to the next spot. And I'm at the last spot here. I'm not gonna get out of the truck because I, I can see everything. Just talked to somebody who uh, finished up hunting for today and they shot one duck out of this pool, so that's not really a good sign. And uh, he's like, is that Josh? I'm like, yeah, that's me. So that was cool, he watches the channel, so shout out to, I forgot his name, but shout out to him, that's pretty cool. If you guys see me out and about when I'm scouting and stuff, don't be afraid, Some, come say hi. I like it. I like meeting new people, I like meeting you guys, and. I just think it's pretty cool. But, I mean, this pool looks really good. There's a little section over here and a little section over here. Lots of open water, but no ducks. So I think the best bet is that one that we were just at. It looks really good. That's about it for today's scouting adventure. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Stay tuned, I'm gonna be hunting tomorrow morning. I'm, I think I'm gonna go to that one pool that we scouted out. I think it looks pretty good. Good enough to go give it a shot, you know? Um, now I just gotta figure out if I'm gonna take the duck discovery or not. Cause that might be more of a hassle than what it's worth at that point. But I really don't know. So go ahead, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Leave me a thumbs up, it means a lot when you guys do that. You can follow me on my social media. I've got Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, and Facebook. So be sure to follow me on there and stay up to date with what's going on. But that's all I got for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed today's video and I'll catch you on the next one.